Oh, I think I'm here now. What are you doing? <laughs> Got your bald head right in the corner of the shot there. <laughs> Mr. Doodles with a hilarious moment. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm a little bit late because our, our internet connection went literally as I was pressing the go live button. Can you believe it? Obviously, everything, technology. We're kind of out in the uh, countryside here. <laughs> well, it's two miles outside of York, um, but our internet connection isn't correct. So this kind of causes us to have a few issues and stuff. Um, so do apologize is any let me see if we've got any comments here i think so hi so we are actually live thank goodness i did a facebook live yesterday and i was actually 40 minutes late because i couldn't get it to work crazy crazy hi wendy hello kelly from texas hello um okay so we might just wait shall we have a little chat and wait a couple of minutes for people to join us um i don't know again i don't know i'm sorry if you are you're coming up on my screen i think if you're in my group in the craft stamp color group it just comes up for me as facebook user um i think you'll be there on the comments but i can't see your name so i'm sorry um let me see if i can actually do no i can't i don't want to go in the group and stream because it'll use all my internet um so i'm sorry i can't name check you so don't forget that um, someone who leaves a comment, as long as I can see your name, um, you'll get a little prize at the end of the video. And I've also got a really nice discount code for you. So watch to the end. So we've got a few people joining us, two, four, six people so far. Anyway, what's the weather like with you? It's kind of weird here. I'm just saying it's really warm. Well, I say really warm it was warm in here and i opened the window and i've had to shut it again because it was nearly taking the roof off it was so windy um but yeah it's kind of weird weather it's uh kind of warm one minute i don't know what to wear i'm kind of in jumpers and layering and it's weird so hi cindy from kansas have you got your little red shoes on that's all i always think of when i hear kansas we're off to see the wizard. Uh, Wendy's in Spain. Hi, Elaine. Lovely to see you again or to hear you again. And we have Tonya as well. I don't know where you're from, Tonya. So let us all know where you're from in the comments. It's really interesting to kind of be speaking to everybody around the world. It's cool. Yeah, early for some of you guys. Yeah, I know. Um, okay right it's quite a few of you so i think we'll get started then so before i do start i'm going to switch cameras don't want to look at my ugly mug so um let's switch over hopefully it's going to work yay so we're going to do some stamping today with the um friendship days collection i've not turned my lights on in all the kerfuffle just bear with me a second Mr. Doodles was turning my on-air sign on for me when he had his ball patch. But um, let me just turn this up, these lights on. Try and get at least a little bit of light going on in the place. Without, I don't know if you can even hear me. There you go. You have to be careful with the lights as well because it kind of strokes. One may have the wrong lights on, so I think that's okay. I think that's a little bit brighter. <coughs> so just before we get started, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a little bit croaky. Um, and um, I've just got like quite a nice little, a fairly quick demo, but it's really, I think it's quite a cute one. Now, yesterday I sent out an email and I messed up because I didn't realise I don't know if you, anybody that actually saw it. Um, so I want to just show you these because I think not everyone's seen these. These are quite old. We've had these for a long time. And I came across them yesterday. And, oh, we've got Margaret on YouTube. Hi, Margaret. Thanks for joining us. Trace is here. Blooming raining. Oh, Manuela, Perugia. I don't know where that is. Is that in Spain? Rome? 27 hi christina 
Now the sun's pouring down this morning. Now the sun's splitting the pavements. Never heard that phrase before, Elaine Parker. I can tell you English with some of the things we say. Um, I discovered yesterday, I was watching the new, something yesterday, and they said, um, in fact, it was actually Gold Rush or something like that, and it was up in the Yukon uh, in Alaska. Well, is it Alaska? Sort of between America and Canada, isn't it? But um, they said it was, oh, what was it they said? It was mixed snow. And we kind of laughed at that because mixed snow is obviously what we call here in the UK, we call that sleet. And I love all the different phrases and the different terms and words. My best friend is American. So we, we laugh at each other all the time at the things we say. I say crazy things that make her go, what? And then she says crazy things that make me go, what? So we have quite quite a fun conversation most of the time uh, and laugh at each other. Oh, Perugia is in Umbria, Italy. Sorry for my ignorance. I'm quite good at geography, but I don't know everywhere. Um, sorry, somebody's buffering too much. I think it's the internet. I bet Russia's attacking us. Um <clears throat> Mixed snow sounds nicer. Yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Sleet isn't really a nice word, is it? But we, uh, we say sleet when it's mixed snow. I, I presume that's what it was. Anyway, anyway, let's get on. I'm waffling. So have you seen these in the store? So I'm not going to use these, but I just wanted to show, because I know that there's a lot of people that probably haven't seen these. And I came across them yesterday, and I just love them so much. And there's actually a little story about why I created these. So these are digi stamps, and these are just hilarious. You have to have a bit of a sense of humour, which we all know not everybody does, but I think pretty much 99% of people will will crack a smile when they see these. So I did these quite a few years ago now, uh, probably about five, six years ago, and I was actually asked to draw. Um, a picture of someone for their 50th birthday um, and this was what I actually drew so I drew this one and everybody wanted to make a card for her basically so I, I was asked to draw draw one image drew this one we loved it we laughed and we laughed and we laughed so um, these have been in the store for all this time they're kind of hiding in the in the older products and every now and then I like to, I think what I might do is every week I'm going to bring something all back and just remind everyone of it or people that haven't seen it before because we have literally thousands and thousands. Hello, Angie. Um, so, um, yeah, so this is, we should have not named her. I kind of feel like she's a Gloria, not for any reason. I just kind of have always, when I, when I drew her, I was like, this is Gloria. So these are all digits there. And yes, the reason I'm showing you is yesterday I sent an email out and um, straight away I got an email back saying uh, I there's no colored versions. And I don't know why they've never been on online. I've got to show you this one, look, because you can't really see. There's a lot of detail in these. Look, her teeth are actually attached to her toothbrush. I'd actually forgotten how funny they were. And she's in her negligee. So it went from me drawing this one for this person to then we laughed so much that I said, I, I'm going to do some more. So because um, everyone said, these have got to be a collection, Nikki. So I kind of drew some more. So we've got, well, anyway, I'm not even going to talk about them, really. This one. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know. I was obviously in one of those moods when I when I drew this. <clears throat> excuse me i'm just gonna point she's coloring with copics look coloring with copics hello i just think everyone knows someone that they can send these to <clears throat> i don't know whether at that age i'll tell you what i think if my mum if my bum was that big and that pert at that age I think I'd be quite happy. You know, maybe that's me channeling my uh, inner self that I wish. Yeah, you do have to have a sense of humour. Oh, I see that's in the way, two of them. 
Here we've got another one. Now this, this was inspired by me because I used to work somewhere. And you re do you remember back in the 90s, we used to have really long skirts. I had a really long, I loved this skirt. It was a really long navy pleated skirt, really, you know, precise block pleats on it. And I worked at a newspaper and we used to go to the bathroom past the editorial department. And this in the winter, obviously, I used to wear tight, like quite thick tights, woolly tights. And one day we were having a meeting and I, I rushed to the loo, came back. And luckily, I didn't walk across the whole office, but I had walked past, up a long corridor past editorial where it was a completely male team through reception luckily nobody was in there we had a factory attached at this newspaper and then i went into the main office where 15 people worked and the meeting was literally just starting and someone was actually pointing at me and going nikki nikki and pointing you know when they're doing nikki 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 and i was like what what <laughs> And this had happened to me and I had my skirt tucked in my knickers. And do you know what? It happened to me four or five times in that skirt, with that skirt. And in the end, I just had to not wear it anymore because it was so risky. So that is me for sure. And here's another one. I think she's forgotten. <laughs> she's forgotten to pull her drawers up. <laughs> Angie McChesney, this will be you and me soon, love. <laughs> hilarious so anyway here's and talking of angie mcchesney here's a great card that she actually created with these so you can see i actually increased it scaled these right up so you could see the detail it's the hairy legs look at the hairy legs on that one i don't want i don't want you to look at her drawers i kind of did stop i could have gone further but i didn't i stopped but look she's got little hairy legs my goodness it happens to us all doesn't it so here's a great card from angie using the copic one so she's crafting there and having a little as she's going along this is a fabulous card so um this was uh created by lisa west who isn't on the design team any longer unfortunately but this was fabulous so she really zoomed this right in and if i just bring that up you can see the amazing coloring on that she's really really got all the wrinkles in there and everything i just love it by the way the person that i actually designed this for on her birthday when we sent her old card cards uh electronically uh she actually came and did a live video and she actually dressed as this character she put rollers in put great big red lips on and and big glasses on it was hilarious it was very funny um so and then i've only got these few samples here just with me but here's the other one where she's just having a little scratch there and again she's got hairy legs as well so, i like the sentiment your birthday suit needs a little iron so the reason i'm showing you these is just to let you know that the colored images now actually are on the website and in case you missed the email um there is when you buy the six of these when you buy all uh when you buy six you get three free basically so they're they're half price so if you buy all six you get three free of charge and they're available in black and white if you want to color them yourself as well if we have time i have printed them i don't think we're going to have time to to use them today um but i have printed them just in case but i want to do some stamping today so we are and apologies because i did mess up on the email and then just now as well i'm, I'm actually sending that email out, out to everyone just in case you want the links and things so that's going out after this live i actually thought i'd sent i don't know what was going on yesterday i was having a bad day um i actually thought i'd send that out again yesterday um so right so friendship days i know you've seen these before um but they are fabulous and i was actually using those yesterday um i had a little live video that i had to do for for one of the stores that are a stockist for us um in the states and um i was using them so i thought oh okay yeah i kind of like need to to use these again not use them for a couple of weeks and i really love them so we'll do um a nice little stamping card i'm kind of 
half prepped but not really so you know we might we might kind of change what we're doing along the way um so we're gonna do lots of um i'm gonna do some masking on this one i think um and that's why i'm saying i might change what i'm doing because i've not really prepped it too much so with the stamps i'm gonna just take my packs there so we've got wonderful world which is the ones with all the uh birds on and things hello friend and then friendship days and these two definitely mix them all three mix and match um you know and it's it's they're all just really nice and work so well together so i've got here my masks that i created when i first started using these and just a little tip for you um i've been finding it before i was actually using my masks sticking them onto the acetate of my stamps now i don't know about you but i constantly lose the acetate it's i'm really bad i always have the one with the print on but i never seem to i think it's because the transparent i lose that i just lose them because i don't see them um and then i find them later and don't know what they belong to so i've always kept my masks with my stamp like that but the other day i kind of thought i've got some packaging here so i just split my pack and then because they fall off they tend to fall off there so i've actually split that down and the idea was that you know like your pack here so what i'm going to do from now on is just slit this down on two sides or three sides so that lifts up let me just do it i'll show you what i mean not that not that you're stupid you you know what i mean already but just in case because this just makes sense to me to do it like this so i'm just going to cut that like that this is how i'm going to do it anyway so I just thought I'd share just in case you've not thought of it and then you've got like a little pocket oh, look you see you can't see it can you and I'm going to keep them in there with that over the top then so I can actually keep them all in there for each stamp set and then I'm going to keep them tidier as well um and it might actually help me store them a bit better because what i tend to do i get frustrated and i don't put them back in the pack the stamps back in the pack so i think doing that it'll actually keep me a bit tidier generally and i might actually not lose them all so let's get started mama mias so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna mix and match i've got two sets of stamps here for some reason See, look, I'm going to take that one off and then I'll forget and, and lose it. It's because I'm always working with them this way up. And then I don't put all my, you know, I don't put my stamps back, as you can see. So I think what we're going to do, first of all, is I want to use this crazy kind of oblong circle here. So I'm just going to ink this up and I'm going to just use Versafine. Are you all getting sorted for oh i've got to tell you as well um we are on creating craft next week on wednesday the first at seven o'clock in the evening so just after the one day special and then i'm on again in the morning on thursday so the first at 7 p.m and the second at 11 a.m so I think there's celebrations and things going on um i think they start thursday i'm not quite sure what's going on but anyway i hope you'll join me and that you're not gonna um that you won't that i won't be just talking to myself on tv bad timing on my part but never mind so i've already cut this mask and i'm going to and anyone that i mean you all know i think but just in case there is anyone new to stamping what this is is i've actually stamped it already just onto post-it notes um and then where the sticky bit is here and then i cut it out and what it does it is it enables me to math that's why we call it a mask because it masks over that image so now what i can actually do if i take another stamp i can stamp there and when i actually remove this mask I've actually 
protected it from the other stamp. And that's basically all a mask is. So we do lots of masking and I'm I'm a bit of a mask queen. I use masks all the time. So I am mixing my stamps together and I've got a mask for that one as well, look. And they don't, you know, you don't have to cut these. Where's my thing gone? I'm trying to find where it is there. You don't have to cut these perfectly either. Um, now, a little, there's a little stamp here, and this one's really cute. It's like a square flower. I really like this one. So that's quite cute. So we're going to use that one. And obviously for you, if you want to use... Where's my sticky notes? If you want to use um, your stamping block, uh, you, oh, what do they call them? Stamping mat, you can do so. I'm not really a stamping press person i think maybe i've not found the right one yet because uh I, f I find it a bit slow but anyway so what i'm doing is I've, I've masked all three here and then i'm just going to cover up this area because this is a long stamp and i don't want to actually get that somewhere that i don't want it either so i want to just have there's a little bow on there and i want the bow to be poking out like that and then i think what i might do is also stamp that down here okay and then if you can see now you see here i've not quite stamped perfectly it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all it's still going to look fine and perfect now i am going to just add those back I haven't quite finished, it's just that it came off. And just find the correct orientation. I kind of look for like a weird shape like there. That's that's a weird kind of shape there. And then usually you can see where it's going to go. Um, now, where did that other one go there? So yesterday, I realized I'd not used this little stamp, and this is actually little flowers. So it's like a little bunch of flowers, which is really cute. And we're going to just use this one to add some extras in there. And the other one I want to use is the one that's also on this block. Let me just, I just need to clean that, and I'm going to get new. That's been remaining from yesterday where I didn't clean it. Oops. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is a really nice piece of foliage. You're going to love using this. Now, again, here, I do have a mask for the square one there. And what you can do is you don't have to cut around all of these little scallops. You can, let me just zoom in a little bit. Just takes a minute to refocus, I think. Come on, refocus. Where are you? Bear with me. Just felt like we were a little bit long way out there. Well, not having it. That's a little bit. Got in focus, almost in focus. What's going on? Technology today. There you go. That's okay. That'll, that'll do. So we've got. So my point was that you've got all these little scallops going round. I wouldn't even try to cut those out. You can just cut those out in a square. So I'm going to use this nice foliage and this works so nicely. It's really pretty. Oh, sorry, it would be. And that's why you're better off using a stamp platform if you're not great at stamping. <laughs> but never mind. And here I'm going to just position that there and just press down. And then just because I've got some flowers there, I'm just going to gently, well, gently, not gently at all, but 
but I'm going to add a little bit more foliage there. You see how it just hovers? So it's fine. It's not, not a problem at all. And I'm going to do the same there. You don't have to cover. You know, it doesn't have to be so that it's all highly accurate and that every single thing is covered all of the time. And then I also want... Add that under here. So I also want to just put some more of that down here, just because I love that stamp. And then we're going to remove all our masks. And don't throw those away. You're going to keep using those. Once you've kind of cut them, you're going to have them forever. And look how pretty is that? Really cute. And if you've here, where we've missed a little bit, we can come back and fill that in maybe later but it's not essential i'm not really that bothered about it so i think what we'll do is we'll just start to color this one so nothing complicated i'm not gonna do anything complicated today or maybe i will i don't know oh yeah that was what i was gonna do i was gonna do something a little bit complicated hmm. okay complicated exactly but i was looking earlier and i thought do you know what i've got these reinkers barely ever use them i, I was almost going to just go to my normal watercolor coloring like i always do oh it's lou with us hello lovely i was just going to get carried away and just do like everything that i want you know you get in a rut don't you and you kind of do the same thing all the time and i'm really bad for that because i find something i like and then i just want to do that all the time so I thought, right, okay, I'm going to use my reinkers. Um, so I've got actual distress ones, and then I've got some oxides here. Now, I do love oxides, but I do feel like they give you the same look all the time. And because I haven't even used it, look, look at the state of this. That came loose. I haven't even opened it. And the top was loose, and it went all, in fact, it wasn't a lie. It was that one. It was my beloved picked raspberry, which is now half empty. And the top came loose in my bag after I'd been on TV. And, uh, yeah, it went everywhere, as you can see. So let me just open this one up. I've got any scissors that I can put in there with. So we're going to use the salvage patina, I think, which is just the luscious colour. I love doing these lives. It just gives me a chance to have a little play and get creative with you. So next week, guys, we've got the uh, Jubilee. So for you, so we won't have a live next week. Um, right, what am I doing here? Think, Nikki, think. Okay, so I've got my water and I'm going to just, oh, that's a bit dirty. I'm just going to add my water roughly around the edges. So I'm going around my stamp so I don't want my flowers to be wet. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. So I'm going to just dab on here. Not too much. And so with these, it's like a little pipette. Remember these from school? So all I'm going to do is just, let's just tap some ink in. And there's loads there. We aren't going to need that, all that. And then I'm just going to try, shut up, knock that over. Just going to spritz that, but I'm spritzing. Can you see I'm spritzing away from my flowers? I don't want it to run into my flowers, okay? So I don't want to wet my flowers. That's what I'm trying to do. So I didn't know how it was going to work because I've not really done this before. But anyway, I wanted to get a nice amount of colour because, you know, sometimes when you just kind of add in ink, you don't get a lot of colour in there. So I wanted it to be quite strong, which it actually is. So let's move it into here. Okay. 
and we'll just add some more down here. We need a bit more stronger colour going down there, I think. I just see this is just what I love because it just moves on its own and then look you can come in because we've got the the little pipette thing look we could just if you wanted to this is a great way of doing like your splashy technique as well I've got tons of ink on here tons way more than I actually really need to use but it's fine and then if you want to we can make some of this move around. I've actually got a bit of a, a stipply brush here. Now, in my head, I wasn't going to have a lot of colour on. And actually, in real life, it's a lot, lot darker than you're seeing it on the screen there. There's a lot more. But I actually quite like it anyway. It's fine. Now, what I'm going to do... Oops, sorry, I'm not even on the screen there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off this excess or a bit of the excess, not all of it. And then I'm going to look how nice and dark it is around here. Because this is like, if you think about it, this is like where all your undergrowth is. So this is going to be nice and dark in here. So let's keep it in there. I'm just going to spread that around. Just so let's just dry this off. I might need to just blot this bit here because it is really, really wet. And this card, although I'm using good quality card, it might actually bubble a little bit. Now, what I am going to do, you know what I'm going to do whilst I'm here? Just thinking because I'm actually embossing. Uh, heat doing some because I'm heating what I might do I've also have again this hasn't been used you know like we do where we need to have everything some distress embossing get flares so I go through fits and starts with embossing I'm kind of into an embossing phase I think at the minute I haven't really been into it for a long time I think it depends what you're doing doesn't it if you um come on get out can't open my pack I think if you look on the website, I think these might be reduced. I think we've got some that are, are reduced. I actually bought too many, so uh, we have quite a lot of stock. So I think they might be on a discount. So, what I'm going to do because this is wet, I'm hoping I don't know whether it'll stick. I don't think it will actually because it's got nothing really to stick to. I'm going to just sprinkle some on and let's just see what happens and also whilst I'm at it I'm going to take my Stampendous Frantage embossing enamel and we're going to just add some of this on at this stage because we're heating it anyway and I've got to heat it for quite a long time so and then also what I want to do is I'm also going to use my distress oxides at this point. So we're, we're throwing the whole lot on. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Gigi. Got Jackie. Got lots of people today. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so we've got a lot going on here. So I think what we'll do is we're just going to, let's drop some of our oxides in. Come on. Okay. And I want to just dry this all off. So by dropping my powder in when it's wet, it's not actually, and I'm, just gonna heat it is still blowing around a little bit i'm just gonna heat one area and it'll melt the powder because it's it's wet underneath so it should grab it now sometimes i do this and it'll come off anyway i know the frontage won't but i don't know whether the embossing glaze will because i've never used it before 
So I think I'm gonna have definitely gonna have to let's get a little bit of um let's see what happens if we drop a bit of oxide into that really dark area down there. See what happens. Ooh. Wish we could zoom in for you guys. Let me try again. I've got some smoke going on here. Move my, try and move that out. It's going to take quite a while for me to to dry this off. Now, oh, fumes. What's actually happening? Oh my gosh! Can you see it? It's going a bit like resin down here. I've never done this before, so it was like a complete. Complete experiment to see what happened. So I've got a bit of a resiny kind of effect going on. I'm gonna get some of this dry in here. Sorry, this is a little boring watching paint dry, literally. And I don't understand why. I'm sorry that we've got a bit of a blur on. I can't actually focus it, I don't know why. I can't really see where the distress glaze is at this point. I'll just pick that up. Oh yeah, it's in there. Got a bit of a crusty thing going on. You see there, that bit there. This hit. Sorry, this bit here. That's the glaze there, and it's actually created. I think. Yeah, it is. Ooh. I think what I'm going to do, I think I might be there forever. So I'm going to just, what's not happened already, I'm going to just dab that off. And let's see where we actually are. This has turned into kind of like a paint. Cool. Because I have my paints here as well. I was already going to use my paints. Yeah. That's actually really wet. Has anyone done this before? Any of you guys done this before? It's interesting. because I put so much ink on and it was so it was really really wet oh look we've gone in focus now it's this stupid camera so look we've got the frontage going and then up here that's drying now in that corner you see it's actually kind of the, the whole thing is mixed together and it's kind of a paint now blue with us will be going yeah nikki yeah, of course it is because she's a master of mixed media and mixing everything together we'll just clean this up a little bit okay so what i want to do now just put my tops on of those for now just so that i don't make a mess and then what I want to do now is I'm going to actually use my pink uh, Kitsch Flamingo Oxide as well. So I'm going to 
again let's just don't want this to go purple because I'm not a purpley person really but we'll just put a few a few oh I've dropped a bit there never mind let's get a little bit going on I've, I fear that it is going to go purple but anyway all lilac -y. let's see what happens okay we've got a bit coming through that's fine that's one layer and then another product i was just determined you know i've kind of gone a bit back to grab and go today because i literally 10 minutes before i started the live I actually just went through my inks and I was like, yeah, I'm going to use that. I've never used that. Um, so we kind of are on a bit of a grab and go. So we're going to use, so that was the um, emboss, embossing glaze. I do have the pink one here as well. And now I've got the Kitsch Flamingo Distress Paint too. So I'm throwing it all on there. Lou Withers, if you're still here, I don't even know. That's not even open. Oh, these stupid packets. Come on. Sorry, I didn't know how to remove that. Should have known. Okay, so let's get a little bit of paint. I don't think we need much. And then where was my scrubby thing? So I've got, this is kind of like a stencil tool, but it's great for, it's got very coarse hair on it. And um, it's quite good for, for kind of scrubby techniques. Just going to dry that off. I want a really nice dry brush. Still a bit wet, but it'll do. And then I'm just going to literally, I don't know whether it's going to work because it's a very light colour. Let's just brush it on. There you go. A bit more than I was thinking. And brush it on from different angles. So turn your work around. And let's just brush some of that on. Don't want too much. And we can dry that back again. Pretty dry now. And then I also want a little bit more, like I've not got enough going on here. I'm actually using my snow text, but this this is just a texture paste. So whatever you've got at home. Now this is where I get really messy because I'm too impatient to kind of do it. I've got my palette life here, but I am a bit impatient. So just going to scuff that over and just press it in. Oops. So this, this is where I get messy because I end up using my fingers because I get frustrated with it. So a little bit there. We'll go a little bit here as well. And then all these like little bits here, I actually want it to stick. So I'm going to just attach it. Oops. It's a little bit dry. I'm going to just press it into the top edge there of my card. So I'm using watercolour card, by the way. I didn't say that at the beginning. I am. And then I'm, I just rub that off. If just because sometimes it's quite hard to actually make it stick. But I want lots of nice big lumpy bits on there and it's easier to do that with your finger i find anyway it might 
probably just this because i must admit i've had this texture paste for a very very long time now to make that stick i'm going to make sure i put the top on that so i don't dry it out but i am going to just run my heat gun over the top of that and it'll actually just start to harden it off Look, the camera's gone blurry again. I think it auto focuses. I must remember to try and the next time to try and uh, work out how to take it off. Hi, no, no, don't worry. I was late today as well. So this is already starting to just, it just crusts up a little bit. So keep it all nice and textury. A little bit more. I've got carried away. This wasn't really what I was going to do, you know, guys, as usual. You know what I'm like? I get carried away and go off on a tangent. Oh, a big chunky bit there. Press that in somewhere else. I don't want that actually on the flower. So let's press that in there. In there. Oops. Now, because I put the frontage on first, that's actually starting to melt down a bit, but it's okay. It's fine. You can go back on and actually add a little bit more. And just wondering whether now because this is a little bit drier yeah, let's add some more of that flamingo i think in my mind i was thinking that the flamingo had a more of a texture but obviously it is paint so right, we'll put that one away By the way, I am using wipes, but they are bamboo wipes. And they are all environmentally friendly before. Okay, I'll just dry that up. And you can see that the distressing that was really, really dark, we actually took a lot of that colour off anyway. So I'm actually going to go back in and we're going to actually add some colour in to differentiate here because I kind of feel like we've lost a bit of colour. Right, I think that's about it for, for that. So I'm going to come in again. Now this time I'm not going to drop it in with my pipette. I've learned my lesson there. So what we'll do is we'll actually colour this with a paintbrush. So I'm just going to dip into my Rienka and it'll be a little bit more control this time. So I can add, oops, come on. So I don't want too much because I don't want to flood it again. It is doing and it's actually resisting some of what i've already put on so where i've put the embossing glazes on it's actually resisting that so we're just able in fact it's not quite dark enough but i've got an idea of what i might do okay i know what i'm gonna do <gasps> look i want it darker around the flowers I've got my Karen markers here. Oh, trying to sit down on this stupid high chair. So this colour is called. Now I need to just test this colour out. Where was my swatch thing? I had to be full. Just that might do. So this is a Karen brush marker, which is basically watercolour. And I don't know if that's the right colour. 
oh, I've got, I'm in a bit of a mess. Yeah, let's add a little bit of blue in. So I want to pick out just around the flowers themselves. So these are watercolours. But they're great for using with all your mixed media stuff because you're going to be able to just bleed these in. So all you need to do, look, is just blend. And look, they're just going to, because everything on here is water-based, it's all just going to blend together really nicely, but I can still get that nice dark edge. Now, my marker is moving the paint around a little bit, but it doesn't matter because it's enabling me to actually blend this out. Look. And look how nice that's starting to look because it's actually all blending and kind of getting some real definition. Now, I'm not going right in there because this is all paint now in there. It's all kind of got all jumbled together and mixed together. It's really nice, actually, in real life. You can't see that on screen, but it actually looks amazing in real life. And I'm just going to do these leaves and come... I want it to be nice and dark down here in this corner. So just, you know, use your marker on its side like that if you need to. And then just blend that out. And I think what I might do is actually run that. Look, that's just, oh, nice. I was going to blend that out but you know what i'm not going to and look now let's do that up here as well i like pink but i don't like when pink and blue go this kind of weird violet -y, purpley color it's not not my kind of color yeah see i was going to use a stencil but look we can go downwards on that and it's actually picking up all the crusty bits that have already dried it's really nice and if you feel like you need to blend it out you can just blend it out a bit and then the the reason i still like using wipes is that i use them to kind of paint with a little bit as well so now what i want to do is we I want to you add a little bit more colour, but not too much. I really like that. That looks lovely. So I think what we're going to do is use. Just want a little. I was going to colour with my distress inks, but I think I'm going to carry on with my carrying markers. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll just add yellow into the middle of our little tiny flowers and then one thing i do want to do is where i didn't stamp here i'm just going to use a fine liner pen and just add that in like that and it's very forgiving you can do that as well and then i think just take my green and we'll just add some little you don't need to colour all these tiny little, I mean, you can do, but I don't. What I do is I actually just dot. If you dot along where the stems are, that's enough. Can you see it's picking out the colour a little bit? And that's actually enough. You don't need to colour everything in, which makes it much easier. So I've got a bit up there. It's got a little bit of greenery. And if you wanted to, you know, add a little bit more around there. And then, oops. All I want to do now, I could do this, like I say, I could do this with Distress Ink or with Oxides. Mm, shall I do it with Oxide? Do you know what I'm going to do? Right, I want to do just, I want to do, do, do something. Lost a bit of okay. I'm just going to put that to one side for a minute. So, you remember the original stamp that we had, which was this one? Let's just stamp that again. Here. 
here. Hmm. Sorry, got a bit of a blur on that. I think I must have moved it. Let's just do that. Now, I think, hey, let's do it with, let's just paint this. We'll add a little bit. So that is my picked raspberry distressing, not ox oxide, an actual distressing. And I'm going to go right over that. Let's dry that off. Yeah, dry it off. Sorry, I changed my mind and then I changed my mind back again. Oh, oh no, I've got texture paste all over me. I'm wearing a brand new dress. And my fat belly has caught all, caught all my texture paste caught on it. Look. All over me, never mind. Okay, let's just dampen that off. So, all I'm going to do now, I'm not going to cut all of this out. What I want to do is just cut the circle. Can you see how I'm crafting in one tiny little corner? I'm going to pan out in a minute and then you can see the mess that I've created. And a bit of luck, my glue gel's still working. Almost. Almost, guys. <laughs> it is actually working. That's last week's way. Okay, and I'm going to just add that to there. So, and then what I want to do is I'm going to grab a grey marker, use this as my palette. Oh, I've got a lot of pink on my brush. Just make sure you always clean your brush out properly. Okay, and then... I want to use this because that is in front, that flower. So we're going to actually create a shadow here. And the same here. But I don't want to colour any of the other flowers in. So we're just going to create this shadow. So again, I'm using my brush marker. Use, an, um, you know, if you want to use a Copic, whatever it is. And then I'm just going to add. Direct, colour direct on so it actually makes it darker and get right in there and then all we need to do this is kind of like um let me zoom out a little bit now might, might get it back in focus a bit better there you go. So this is floating. So now, now I need to dry this off. This is still wet here, I think. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is actually colour in a stem in black here. And we're going to actually follow this right down. And where I've lost that stem there, there was a little bow on that stamp. I'm going to actually just draw that back in and then that stamp is actually repeated here so i need to make that match because it'll look a bit obvious if i don't my pen's running on it. i really need to get a new black pen a thick new black pen and then this one is also just hanging so we're gonna just let me just see if that's better the other side yeah that's better so a nice solid black line there and then our final thing that we're going to do that will just pull all this back together is i'm going to go back to my frontage and i just want to sprinkle 
a little bit more and where we had where we just colored in those black stems that'll just help to push those stems back into the actual overall design and I'm going to go quite heavy on that now and I'm actually going to use let's let's see if we can put some of the pink embossing glaze on and see what that does and I'm going a bit cray cray oh it's an hour let's add try not to go don't know if I like that or not let's mix it in okay so where we'd lost the frontage before now that's going to come back again now one little trick for you to some paper. it's a little trick for you because the frontage isn't on any ink so it might actually move around so put a piece of really thin this is really thin copy paper just put that on and then just run your heat gun over it for a little while and it'll actually heat the frontage up enough that it starts to melt and then when you take this paper off it won't all blow around because you haven't you know normally with an embossing powder we actually attach it to the ink to the verse mark ink we haven't got that here so um but it, it melts it has quite a low melting point on it so all i do is i kind of do that and i start to move my paper and i can see oh gosh it's warm in here my window's closed you can start to see by how much it blows around because there's a lot of glitter in frontage so that's it it's starting to actually melt and you can actually see it it kind of rolls as it's moving when it starts to melt so just to, you need to lift your paper a little bit because it'll stick that's the only problem I think we probably I mean you're always going to lose a little bit anyway and that's pretty much done you hold that up look look how nice that is on there now so it's kind of really pushed all of this right back and then all these nice big white blobs there look at the texture on there don't know if you can really i think you can see it that way better so there's all that nice glitter in there all of that really nice texture going on and i think this time for a change i think I would actually put that onto black so let's just fold that in half we'll make a card i am a card maker at heart i do make other things but i tend to make cards because just because it's easy really not just perfect size Whew, it's warm now come on glue Thank you. It's come out massive now. That was to teach me a lesson. Now, because the reason I've done this and put it on block black, which is very, very unusual for me, is because normally I would now start to freak out and I'd be, I was kind of thinking as I was going along, how am I going to do my black edges? And now I, oh, now i don't actually need to because i've got my matte and layer there instead because i've got so much texture on here that it's not going to be easy to use my pen over that um so i just want to flatten that down just so it sticks okay and i've just remembered there was one thing that i wanted to do but i'm not going to do it now so never mind um just trying to think do i want anything else on there I'm not quite sure i did have you know, i'm not sure if i like the purple flower that pink flower i'm actually thinking i might like i might like that better 
I think I might do, you know, I think I might like that better. I just happen to have that there. And I've also got another. I don't want to overdo it though. The whole point was this. Yeah, I like that, like that. I like that, like that. The whole point was there's a bit of a trend going on for this um, white with a, a little tiny hint of colour. Um, you know, and it's a way of. It's, it's actually really nice. I think it's quite striking when you do it. There, that's better. It's a little bit more colourful. So leave your surrounding elements white and then it just focuses in on that one flower. And I really like that effect. I'm going to zoom out so you can actually see my desk. I'm going to stay at my desk. Actually, it's, it's not that bad, really. Um, but hopefully can you see that now i just love all the little glitter and the shine but you know this you can feel hear it it's so much texture going on it's great and then for me i don't know i kind of feel like i need something something missing and for me i think what it is i'm gonna get a bit of twine and i'm going to cut this down but basically what i would do let me just do it just going to make a little yeah just going to make a little bow not too big a bow just a little one i just feel like there's something missing off it i think it might be because i haven't got a sentiment on there So I think what I might do, I don't know whether to do it that way. I'm kind of feeling the love for, I need to just trim that off. I think what I would do is actually wrap that a couple of times around there. So put a couple of wraps around there and then just bow it there. And I think that, in fact, that's too big a bow. It needs to be smaller. So. Just do a little tiny one. Do you know this string? I've had it years. It lasts. If you just go to the guard centre and get a little bit of twine, and it just lasts forever. So what we want is we just want a little tiny bow like that on there, and that is it. So just like that, and that finishes it off without it actually being too much. I think. I'm, I'm going to tuck that round and actually glue that down. So that's me done. I hope you liked that. This is, I won't show you what I was actually, well, actually, I will show you what I was going to do. Look, I was going to do that. And maybe that's what's missing. I haven't put my sentiments in, have I? That's what's driving me a little bit. Um, I just always, I'm, I'm a word person. I like words. So I always feel like I need to just have a weird thing it's my thing so i'm just gonna stamp that in there of course that's what's missing just in there in that one we'll just put it in that one oh, upside down don't think so so let's just put that one in there there you go hey that look that's perfect now looks fine look and then just that just a little tiny bow there but that was the same one. Now, this one, this was the oh, I was going to go down so you can see it's very different. This one I did with metallic. So I put a bit of metallic on there. I don't know what I did with that. I don't know where that came from, that metallic. I'm not really a metallic person normally. But anyway, um, so that's that's me done. So um, let me switch. Gosh, I can't get to my thing to switch my camera over. I've got a code for you guys. So, um, bear with me. I'm trying to sit on my moving stool. <laughs> I literally whiz across the office every time I try to sit down. Hey, there I am. Whew, okay, so. There's a code for you. Use the code 30 May. 
in uppercase and you'll get 30% off your order until Saturday, whatever it is. So right across the store. So that's especially for you guys um, that are watching the video. So that expires on Saturday, the, where are we, it's the 26th. So Saturday, the, up until Saturday the 28th. Actually, I lie. I think it might be Sunday the 29th. Um, so take advantage of that. Um, and also, what was the other thing I was going to do? Oh, giveaway. So who has left me comments? Let me go and have a look. So somebody, oh, God, I've got all these little things. I'm going to about to put all my hands in them and stuff, all my arms in. So let me just check all the comments. Um, Kelly, you've inspired me to try this letter. Great, thank you. I'm so pleased. Uh, Valerie, love it when you do these techniques. Yeah, me too. I love mixed media. This is kind of my, well, I love it all. I love colouring, I love everything. But yeah, I love you. Oh, thank you, Lou. Wendy, Gigi, Nona, Nona's added all six coloured stamps. Is that the old bags? <laughs> Is that the old bags, Nona? I know we we must create something with those, shouldn't we? You should all one day. I don't know what I've done with them. I don't know where I've put them. Um, one day. Oh, they're all under here. So, one day we should all craft together. So you should get some printouts. And you should craft together. Lou with us. Is this you? Is this you, Lou with us? Lou with us. She's ace. I love Lou. It's, I love her because she's she's a northern girl like me, so she knows that I'm joking and I can actually uh, uh, take the Michael out of her. Yeah, gems or pearls on that would have looked really nice. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I also like the one on the right side of your desk. Was that that one? Is that that one that you were liking? Was it sneaking in? I was trying not to show you. Um, yeah, Tracy, I start off with less space and end up with the size of postage stamp. Yeah, me too. Normally, yeah. This is a massive desk, though. This is huge, this desk. And I'm still in a little tiny space. Um, okay. Uh, red hot with Angie in Greece. Look at you. Well, the sun is out here now, and it's red hot here now. Look, I'm really hot. You can tell in my cheeks. Um, okay, right. Who? I need to pick a winner. So a winner here. So the winner is going to get... Hmm, let me think. What's the winner get? The winner can get a set of these. So six of these images for the winner. So... I think uh, who's who's still with us? Let me see. I need to try not to pick someone that won't that's won before either. And Lou Lou with us isn't going to win either. She wins everything. She's too clever. Um, let's see. Leave me a comment. Actually, this is how I'm going to win. Leave me a comment now if you want to win these digits. Because I don't want to give them to someone that doesn't want digits. So if you want to win these digits, so let me flick through them. So these are the old bags. So there's six of them. And I'll I'll give you the coloured ones and the black and white ones as well. So so if you want to win the digits, comment digi, and then I'll choose from you guys. Okay. So we've got Gloria. Hang on. I'll just flick through them in case anyone was late coming in and didn't see them. Angie McChesney, is that you? <laughs> no, this is me. It's me. That's me. That's definitely me. That's definitely me. Tracy's got friends and family for these. I think we all have, don't we? We all have for sure. No, Angie, that one's you. Angie McChesney, that's you. <laughs> you just can't help but laugh, can you? Every time these come out, everyone says you need to do men. But you know what? I can't. I just can't because it makes me feel sick. <laughs> the thought of doing men like this. No, I don't need to do men. Please don't make me do the men. 
Oh, Lou with us, that's you. That's you, Lou with us, with your Copic markers, look, colouring. Look down here. Look. I think she needs a new bra. <laughs> And then this one, this one really makes me laugh because she got her teeth are attached to her toothbrush. My God, she's trying, she's getting ready, getting ready for an evening there, isn't she? Oh my Lord, honestly. But yeah, Gloria, that actually does really remind me of you, Lou, with us. I can imagine you with your rollers in in the morning. I can imagine it. You don't have the glasses. Do you wear glasses? I can't think. But anyway, right, okay, so you've all commented, did you? Okay. Oh, Gigi, that's nice. Did you? But I just won recently. Okay, that's really kind of you. Right, I think we pick, let's pick Valerie Cartwright then. So, Valerie, well done. You're going to get a set of those. So, enjoy. We need, I need you to share what you've made in the Facebook group, though. So just, again, if you want a little bit of inspiration, that's what Angie McChesney, I've been laughing at her today, but she's a very good friend of mine. That's what she made. Oh, and the other thing is, that's what I meant to tell you earlier, you get loads of sentiments that match these, really fun sentiments that are, you know, kind of on the edge as well. Uh, so that's actually a freebie in there. So you've got all the sentiments free. So fab cards. Really great set to have. I think even if you're not a digi crafter, you kind of need those in your in your stash, don't you? Right, Valerie, can you email me at website at polkadoodles.co.uk to claim that prize? And I'll actually set an order up for you in the in the store. I need your email address um, to be able to do that. So if you can do that for me. So guys, don't forget, if you order before Sunday. Use code 30 May and you'll get 30% off your order. And that's right across the store. So physical products and digital products as well. So that's a nice little weekend discount. Don't forget, I am on Create and Craft on 1st and 2nd of June. So that's next Wednesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock in the evening on the Wednesday the 1st and 11 a.m. on Thursday the 2nd. So I know it's Jubilee weekend, but hopefully you'll still join me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the traffic's going to be like or anything. I'm hoping that everybody will be inside and uh, we might be able to have, like, free road coming home. Um, but, yeah, I've got something brand new to show you and I think things that you probably haven't seen before. So... Um, it should be fun. So two hours on Create and Craft next week. So next week, there won't be a Facebook Live. I'm sorry, but it is for those of you in the US or outside the UK. Um, it's our Queen's Platinum Jubilee. So it's a public holiday here from Thursday onwards, I think. I think the whole weekend. Um, but also I won't be back from will I be back from the show? No, I won't be back. Might not be back from the show. I'll be a bit knackered, so I won't be able to do no, I won't be back anyway. Um, so we'll be we'll miss next week and then we'll be the following week. So thank you for joining. Wow, three half past three nearly, guys. Sorry, thank you for staying with me all this time. Thank you for loving this. I will take a photo of this and post it for you so you've got it to follow as well. I try and do that every week. And also, I don't know if you know, but these videos go onto our YouTube uh channel. So if you ever can think, oh, I can't remember what she did, go to our YouTube channel. It's just Polka Doodles. And you'll find all these Facebook Live videos on there. Um, and I, I I try and actually put that in the uh, thumbnail so you can see what video, it, what each video is actually about. So you don't end up, because, you know, like sometimes you kind of like go have to half watch it to find out if it's the right one. But anyway, that's me. I am done. Thank you so much. Look how filthy I am that ain't coming out. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on Create and Craft next week and on live again in a fortnight, two weeks time. Thank you so much. It's been a joy. Valerie, email me for your prize. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.